What's up folks, hope you're doing well. The last few days for Optimus were crazy, to say the least. Now ever since I posted my previous video on the project where prices were almost double of what they are right now, things derailed very quickly. Panic was set, profit takers were all over the place, sell pressure was insane. But to be completely honest, the actual reason behind this is not so clear. And I think it has nothing to do with the project, it's just the mentality of investors where sometimes is a bit odd and weird to say the least. So if I did had to go on voice chat to calm everybody down and confirm a few things and leak few potential upcoming things for Optimus. And this is essentially the point of this video is to discuss these things, these things and understand if they're set, what could this mean to the project itself altogether. So let's jump directly into this. Okay, so I'm going to go over these, you know, in no particular order, just talking about what he said, what is potentially coming and what is almost certain to be coming. So first things first, we're going to have our halving cycles for both tokens. So what this essentially means is that if you're familiar with how the Bitcoin halving cycle works is that every set number of years, the rewards per block are uh, essentially slashed in half. And that is to, you know, decrease the inflation of the supply, even though there's a max supply. And at the same time, if demand stays the same price will increase. So basic supply and demand uh, dilemma there. So with that being said, if this applies to Optimus, and most probably it will because if I did mention that it's going to be the case, so and there's going to be more options, I'm going to be discussing about those soon. So instead of earning 1% per day, you're going to essentially be earning 0.5% and that will also be slashed in half as time progresses. If we have more demand, then obviously with less supply being generated on a daily basis, with more burn, and demand stays the same or even increases, the price will also go on uptrend. So that's one. That is confirmed though. The second thing that he discussed was potential staking, a staking contract for both tokens as well. So he would offer the opportunity for people to stake their tokens for a locked period of time or a set, you know, time frame where they would keep earning 1% or potentially a bit more per day. If they lock their tokens for the set for the set number of uh, of days or month or whatever, but at the same time, this is a parallel option to halving because if you keep your tokens in your wallet, you're gonna get 0.5 percent and that will decrease over time. But if you stake them, you're gonna be earning more. So, like I said, one percent potentially 1.5 percent. So we'll see how that derails as well. So this is an extra layer on top of your normal daily rebase. Third thing he discussed is that there's going to be a potential like like this will be either uh, either that option or staking. So that option that I'm going to, that I'm going to be talking about is an ROI DAP type of uh, approach, which is typically or more internally uh, internally sorry aligned with the detonator and EMP money. If you're not familiar with that project, I suggest you do some research on it, but it all comes back and it all ties back to the same logic where you'll be able to lock up that OTP, but you won't be able to touch this OTP at all, but you're going to earn more per day. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of this approach. I think the idea of Optimus here should remain there where it, uh, where it be a project where people were trading, you know, easily between, uh, between buying and selling with no, uh, with no fees whatsoever so it was a tradable token that earns you a percentage daily where you can sell anytime you want without any attachments so the roi that part i'm not a big fan of i think staking would be very interesting and what i'm gonna talk about next is all is more interesting actually because we have the bridge coming up and that is something that we know that that will help arbitrage these two tokens and they're gonna include a native dex and this is something that they have discussed. Again, DD mentioned this potentially there. And the native DAX is really important because it will essentially 
uh, it will essentially get more fees into the bots contracts where they'll be able to generate more revenue to trade the tokens and appreciate the prices better so that's an external layer of revenue other than the trading revenue that they have mentioned and discussed several times so this is something that would you know like i said be more beneficial to the project overall and i think if they do add the native decks and they do include the bridge inside the native decks that would be you know i think the best case scenario so you would be able to easily bridge tokens between these two chain between these two chains so not only they'll be earning uh, revenue from swapping the tokens the separate tokens so up three and up four on their uh, native chains but they'll also be earning bridge revenues when people uh, want to use uh, the two prices to arbitrage and get some profit there and the arbitrage opportunity is still there it's almost uh, at the same level of what i previously sh uh, previously showed you now the scalability part is lower so the profit potential is lower but it still exists I think 22 cents per trade is really cool, at least for the first trade, because after that they will level uh, each other out pretty quickly once the bridge goes live. But the tactic and the strategy remains the same there. So if we want to follow the strat in regards to what you can do here, you can either actually arbitrage when the bridge goes live, buy cheap, sell high until they level out, or you can buy today or tomorrow or whatever just earn your rebase and once the, the the bridge goes live you can just switch your tokens there sell them because you're gonna have more tokens correct because you're just letting them sit idle earn that one percent and then sell them at a higher price and take advantage of that higher price and back some profit so this opportunity still exists yes the price point is lower almost 40 percent or so but still you still have the opportunity to do so so if you dca down uh, as expected and if you are a believer of this of this project most probably your position hasn't been so compromised so to sum it all up halving is coming staking or roi let's see which one will happen and uh, native dex slash bridge so first one is confirmed 100% last part so the bridge is also confirmed 100 percent everything in between is uh, is going to depend on so many factors so i'm looking forward to seeing where we're going to end up with all of these you know alpha leaks and decisions one thing i want to also mention is that they they did uh you know post this on their main telegram channel speaking of the main telegram channel right now it's actually if i go to the channel it's actually uh more of an announcement channel so to speak so they did uh, mute the channel because there was so much fud so much talk and nonsense to be honest i think it's a good approach they moved to discord you can go there and chat uh, regularly it's it, i mean it's active there so here is more like a like i said announcement channel they will post videos announcements amas and so on and they did post recently that there is a completely separate entity that created something called optfund.net and it's not the these guys are not tied to the team directly so it's more like a layer two on top of optimus itself so this is the website and it goes in line with what what uh, with what uh, dd has mentioned previously and what i just stated so they did add a staking option to optimus where you lock up your funds for a set number of days weeks uh, what whatsoever and then you're gonna earn a daily percentage but there is actually a tax when you enter the protocol and it i think there's no withdrawal fee so if you go to the white paper you can check for yourself so that's the staking part so yeah so there is a deposit fee but no withdrawal fees and that deposit fee will help with the uh optimus uh with opt three uh burning mechanism so I think this one uh yeah is only available for up three at the moment so not up four but you can go ahead and check whatever these guys are about i think there's about 1.5 million worth of up three right now staked in this uh layer two solution scalable solution so my personal opinion on this is that yeah it's cool that a third party member or a community member decided to do this i wouldn't enter it myself i, I mean to be honest 
I would rather enter the staking protocol that the team would put out. Again, not saying that this isn't safe, that there's some backdoor related to this, but I would do more research. So they did, they do have an audit part as well. So I would look into it, to be honest, to see if this is completely safe. It has been done by Truth Seekers, which also perform an audit on the official contract of Optimus. So yeah, look into the uh, the audit report. If it's all good, you can do this right now. It's already available. It's already live. And like I said, many people have actually leveraged this already. And it's not bad at all, right? So if you have this and if you have the, uh, the staking contract that will go live from the team itself, the official team. So you have two options, right? And with more options out there, meaning you have more reasons and more utility for the op token to be utilized somehow. So, yeah, take a look at this. I'm not going to go in details into this because, again, it's not official by the team itself. But it's apparently approved because they made an announcement about it. And that's what... Uh, yeah, so, because they made an announcement about it. So, they inherently approved this, this website or this contract or whatever. So, take a look at this. And for the meantime... Don't panic too much, just wait for more official announcements and more stuff to go live. The partnerships are still happening, the treasury is growing, the team is delivering, the fundamentals haven't changed. So this is what you have to ask yourself at the end of the day, right? So if you're someone who is a believer of the project and you see the price decline in a sharp, uh, in a sharp downtrend, of course you're gonna you know, ask yourself, so why? Why investors are leaving, investors are selling, but still. You're, you need to be in a position where you ask yourself, so am I in a project where the team is still delivering? Yes. Fundamental have ch fundamentals have changed? No. Any rug or exploit that might have happened? No again. Is the team selling? No. So all of these important questions, if you can't get the right answer to them, then you most probably should settle down a bit, perhaps DCA if you have more risk capital and do not never go in into any DeFi projects because you can never know. Even if everything is on track in regards to team fundamentals, price action, etc., things could go wrong because if the community is not so supportive, then yeah, things can go south really quickly and the example uh, happened right in front of you uh, for the past 48 hours. So that's basically all I wanted to cover, updates, insights, whatever we have coming and just to keep you afloat and make you understand of the right questions to ask and if the right answers are what you have for those questions then that's it right, that's all you need to know. Price action is temporary but transparency, long term belief in the project, those are imminent right and those are there and set there. As always, take care of your finances and trade responsibly. See you in the next one. Have a good one.